Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I think this is the last. Whoa. This big kid. Um, I think this is the last two parter. I think we're going to be caught up after this vlog goes live. It's December 1st. I think the first and the second will go together on the third, and we'll be back on track. <gasps> what do you think? You look so sweet with the Christmas tree behind you. <laughs> Hi. He's so thinking cute. Got my mini mouse ears on. Maybe that's why he's smiling so big at me. Um, but anywho, we've had kind of a wonky day. Last night, Teddy started wheezing a little bit. He, it like, it definitely seems like we just had this little bug go through our house and it's hit him the worst because he's the tiniest. Um, but with the wheezing and just with how bad like RSV has been this season, we just wanted to go get him checked out, get his like blood ox level and like have somebody listen to his lungs. Thankfully, I just feel like a super big worry war and the doctor's like, this is just a cold. Like they're, they didn't even really here wheezing it was more so just like the junk that he's trying to get up in his upper airway um and then we did get tested for covid flu rsv negative everything so we actually just got a humidifier um we're doing steam showers we, we got the humidifier like on a black friday deal we got three actually our apartment's so dry um and just rest he's been eating good he's like He's totally in good spirits. It's just been kind of wonky. So I did end up having to take him to the doctor. Also, today is Peter and I's 14-year dating anniversary. So Peter asked me to be his girlfriend 14 years ago um, when we were juniors in high school. So I don't, like, we don't have any plans, but if you know us, we like any reason to celebrate. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a little treat. And yes, Teddy just sits, sits and plays now because he's, because he's a big kid. Going down beautiful Michigan Avenue to go pick up some Advent calendar Red light chocolates. Ahead. Look at this beautifulness. Oh, I wish I would have gotten the vlog what James's reaction was when I put him on the ground. And he, he, he felt the brisk, brisk breeze that's coming off in between these buildings. Whew. James, we're in like a little secret part of the loop. We're like a street off of Michigan Avenue, but in like... I'll call this like a little hotel district for all the conferences that are, can be held here. We're sneaking up here just a, two blocks away from the lakefront, or the river and Michigan Avenue to go to the Fannie Mae to pick up some chocolates for our advent. Um, and maybe some trend ads because delicious. Um, but we're only at 45 minutes before it closes and um, got little legs here. so. Kind of interesting, especially when we get distracted with things like around like subway grates. Funny enough, ACS's office is, used to be, I want to say, in this building. They moved a little further west. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we should link down below the video of where, like when we went to ACS and like went to the offices and <laughs> learned. Oh, James wants me to carry him now. Um, learned more like in depth about like where funds for American Cancer Society go that we fundraise, which we still are fundraising, we just haven't been talking about it. We'll pick it up. Oh, it's so cold. Yeah. See, and here we are, right on the river. And boom. Mine and Sarah's favorite buildings right there. Tribune and Wrigley. Oh, look, there's a big old tree right over there. Jamesy, we made it. We made it. There you go, and they're still workers, so it should be, still be open until 7. We got them. We got them set up. We got little chocolates for our advent. We got some Trinidad's for us to indulge on when we get home. And we made it before it closed. Right, Jamesy? He's like, get me home. Where are we going? Next stop is Target. Hey, let's go this way, to the door. 
Making a little roux here. I'm gonna make a little creamy pesto sauce for some flatbread. Um, so this is plant-based butter, some flour. I added the garlic in prematurely, to be honest. There's salt and pepper in here. I'm gonna throw in some oat milk and then jar pesto, which I realize isn't plant-based, but we're just, we're just doing our best. Oat milk is the least sweet plant milk, so that's what I always use for cooking. So. A decent amount of that in there. I honestly think I made too much. I might take some out before I add in the pesto because I don't have a ton of pesto and I want the ratio right. And then the star of the show, nutritional yeast. This from Trader Joe's was so affordable. Um, this gives a good cheesy flavor without having the cheese, kind of nutty, just delicious. So I'm going to add some of that in, taste it, and then decide what I'm going to do about the pesto. This, this is what I've decided. I added in this little pasta sprinkle. It has like basil, oregano, thyme, garlic, yada yada. Added a little bit more nutritional yeast. Add a little bit more oat milk. Make this more into a sauce, because it's really tasty. And then drizzle the pesto on top so it's more of just a white sauce base. And then the veggies, and then the pesto. What do you think? He's so happy. <laughs> you got your napkin. So what I did here is mix olive oil and the pesto to make more of a drizzle, added a little bit of salt. The creamy sauce is on the flatbread. I'm gonna save what I didn't use for like pasta a different day, maybe another flatbread if we like it. Um, I actually have red peppers roasting in the oven now. And then I'm gonna chop up the rest of these tomatoes and put it on there. So it's gonna be a pepper, tomato, garlic, pesto, flatbread with leftovers from yesterday. Oh, that's a boy eating his first own personal Trinidad all by himself. Mm. Doesn't have his jacket or his shoes off yet. Okay, Peter got these Mountain Dews to try. Fruit Quake. It's, I didn't realize this was fruit cake flavored. Okay, let's see how it is. I like that a lot. No qualms. That is good. Um, we have Santa Claus 2 on, which we typically do not watch. Like, we are like Santa Claus 1 purists. And I like forgot a lot about this movie. Um, we want to watch the Santa Claus's show, but we want to give it like our full attention. We haven't yet. So comment below if you've watched it and if you like it. But it's so, I like, I forgot so much about this movie and I forget that like people watch the other Santa Clauses. So we're eating our leftovers from yesterday. Cold, little salad action. And then here how the flatbreads turn out. I cooked them for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. I was a little bit worried it was a little too much. Um, but they smell good. <laughs> Hopefully they are good. We are winding down. Well, we're putting the kids to sleep. Peter's in there with James. It's a bit late, um, but it's tomorrow's Friday. We have plans. Our friends are coming um, to do the Wrigley Chris Kindle Market, like actually do it, like do the attractions and such. Um, and we still aren't caught up like where we'd like to be. So tonight might be a later evening just to feel good for tomorrow um, and having visitors. Two hours later. 
jinx on the breath. <laughs> we got advent calendars for the boys. But James isn't going to get here till tomorrow. So we'll start those tomorrow. I forgot James was getting his own. I thought when you were asking that, because like James is going to do the chocolate wooded one. No. Okay. His, he's getting one from Amazon. Teddy has one that's like finger puppets. James is like construction vehicles. And then we also have the chocolate from Fannie Mae. So tomorrow we will show that. This will be in one big vlog though. So and then we'll be, we'll be caught right up here. after this. Yeah. Thank goodness. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Apple. You want to open Apple. it? It's our first time Apple. ever doing yeah. family cal Apple. calendars. Good Apple. afternoon. We're so glad to hear with Daily Fox. Enjoy the good Michigan every day. Our last two-parter. Yes. For now. Um, so we got advent calendars for the boys. Mm -hmm. This is Teddy's. It's finger puppets. This is Jamesy's. It's trucks. Construction uh, trucks. So we're going to do two today, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, this is number one. Uh, is it a cement mixer? Amy <laughs> thinks it's a tree. Can I open this for you? Sludge truck. <laughs> Why do we have a sludge truck? What, is, what is a sludge what truck? What is a sludge truck? All right, you get to do one more, okay? Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> They're pullbacks. Here's number two. Oh! Hey, <gasps> oh. What's that one? A dump truck? Oh. A concrete uh. truck. Oh! Also a super truck. <laughs> Apple, Apple. This one's actually your brother's. This is Teddy's. So we play together. Yes. So this one is for. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, Teddy. Here, let's see. Teddy had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Ooh. Are you gonna show Teddy first, okay? Thank you for being so patient. I don't even. Is it a snowman? It's like a Santa snowman. <gasps> wow. Cute. Do you like your advent, Teddy? Teddy's had a rough afternoon. He has. Got a little diaper rash, needed a soak in the tub. Mm -hmm. And now it's nap time. Did you take a snooze? You want to see them up close? Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh. Teddy. Teddy is your name. We're going to Chris Kittle Market. Oh yeah. Trains coming by. Little bumper boat. 
All right, we are inside the lodge. Okay. There's the menu. It's actually like a heated seating area on the field. Very nice. Sarah's gonna nurse Teddy. Yay. There's some TVs. All right, so Lauren, Mikey, and Lucy are gallivanting between the Total World and the, the train. And James has got some water and some Garrett's popcorn. And uh, Sarah and Teddy are just relaxing. Yeah. Teddy's ready to go back to sleep. He took James? the longest nap of his life today. James is gonna ready, ready for sleep any second now. <laughs> he never took a nap today, so he's like in zombie mode. Specials that to be leaving Wrigley Field during the holidays, being one-time season ticket holders. Huh? Does Teddy look a thousand years old or what? Look at these Christmas trees. Wrigley Field and its holiday cheer. Gotta love it. This is a special thing they're doing this year, and these kiddos are just enjoying it. Is it a Chris Kindle market without potato pancakes? It's not. It's not. I only asked for applesauce, but I got both. They give you both. Me and Mikey discussed this. He likes the sour cream. I like the potato applesauce. I love the oh, James is gone. He's gone. He's gone. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh, you got a schnitzel? Kilometer sausage. Yeah. <laughs> potato pancake. That's the way to do it, though. Kilometer. <laughs> Alrighty, we are home. The boys are asleep. We're gonna sign off, but not before showing you this year's White House Christmas ornament. This is a tradition that our best friend Lauren has done for us. I think maybe starting the year we got married um and she gives us this historical ornament from the white house each year and this year might be our favorite to date it is a gingerbread white house okay i don't know if i'm crazy or not but i think this is like scented gingerbread um but anyway this is first lady pat nixon this included her gingerbread recipe um and then just talks about like some of the traditions of the White House and gingerbread houses. Um, and so, yeah, just super nice, super cute theme, so festive. Um, one of our favorite holiday traditions. So grateful for Lauren and her family for so many reasons. Um, but this, this is just really special. I'm really grateful for this. Um, alrighty. Happy Friday, happy weekending, and happy back on track with the vlog because when this goes live, we will be in real time again. So thanks for um, for rolling with the delay there, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>